Magandang magandang hapon and welcome back to PC Express Live. Sa mga baka nagugulat kayo sa mga uh, mga viewers natin ngayong araw na to because today is Gaming Saturday at nagtataka kayo bakit nandito si Jesse sa Gaming Saturday. Actually, nakiagaw lang po ako ng stream kasi wala po ako last Tuesday dahil at siyempre meron tayong isang napakagandang topic ngayong araw na to. At uh, ayoko na maipaubaya lang kay Rems, no? Itong topic na to. So, Rems, nandiyan ka pa rin, di ba? Yes, Ayan, sure. nandito pa rin naman si Rems sa tabi ko. Pero gusto ko lang agawin sa kanya because we have a special guest for today. Ano nga ba ang topic natin ngayong araw na to? Siyempre, walang iba kung hindi yung pinost namin sa aming teaser dito sa Facebook. Ang ating third generation processors ng AMD Ryzen or ang tinatawag natin ang AMD Ryzen 3000 series. At maliban dyan, pag-uusapan din natin ang bagong labas na AMD Ryzen RX 5700 series. Two new products that talks about going into the 7 nanometer era. Bakit importante ito? Alam naman po natin ang teknolohiya as we progress, palakas ng palakas ang consumption sa power, painit ng painit, tapos pahirap ng pahirap po na para pabilisin pa ang mga processors at GPUs natin. But AMD has actually created something that really changed this 2019. Bakit nga ba? Because this AMD Ryzen 3000 series and the AMD Ryze, uh, Radeon RX 5700 series are 7 nanometer chips. Di, di, di ba natin naintindihan kung ano yung 7 nanometer? Don't worry because we have someone here, yung special guest natin today from AMD Philippines, uh, the Consumer Sales Manager, Mr. Sunny C. So, Sir Sunny, kamusta po kayo dyan? Okay, uh, una sa lahat, uh, hello sa mga nanonood sa Facebook live page ng PCX. And of course, congratulations to PCX on their 20th year anniversary and... Thank you rin to Jesse and uh, Rems, Rems uh, so for Rems. inviting me over uh -huh. today. Okay. So for one, uh, I'll start with uh, introducing to you guys the three key, key technologies that we at AMD introduce on our 50th year as a company. So una dito yung 7 nanometer manufacturing technology. So basically, ito po yung process or manufacturing process wherein uh, yung laki or yung liit or rather yung liit nung mga transistor ng mga chip ay ganitong size po, 7 nanometer. 7 nanometer. And aside from that, uh, we, we also introduced not one but two new architecture. Okay, ito po yung Sen2 architecture which is our latest CPU architecture. And yung isa po ay ang RDNA or region DNA architecture as our latest graphics architecture. Then thirdly, uh, moving along, PCI Express 4. So we're also very proud to be the first company to introduce PCI Express 4 connectivity sa PC. So when we say 4, this is the 4th generation fourth gen, yes. ng PCI Express. Okay. Which is basically uh, two times the bandwidth of PCI Gen 3. Gusto kong introduce yung limang Ryzen 3000 CPU series. So when I say CPU, ibig sabihin wala siyang integrated graphics. Okay. So kumbaga sa AMD Ryzen products or sa AMD products na oh, CPU, meron tayong dalawang klase, di ba? Oh, pagka CPU, walang integrated graphics. CPU, pagka walang... APU or otherwise, otherwise known as accelerated processing unit, meron siyang integrated region graphics. Okay, so yun yun po. Sa mga viewers, kailangan po natin tandaan, pag tayo po ay namimili ng processor at ang hinahabol po natin ay itong napakagandang AMD Ryzen 3000 series, tandaan po natin pag sinabing CPU, wala siyang kasamang integrated or internal graphics kung tinatawag natin. Oo. Pero pag APU, yun po, may kasama siya. Okay, so all of these five models from the Ryzen, from the, yung, ito, ito yung first Ryzen product, na, uh, Ryzen 9 product namin, the Ryzen 9 13900X, down to the Ryzen 7 with two models, the 3800X, And the 3700X, okay. And yung pinaka entry level natin for this 
Uh, segment uh, Ryzen 5 3600 X at 3600. Okay. So, ito po yung uh, turbo clock at base clock. Okay. Yung numbers of cores at threads makikita natin sa screen. Yung laki ng combined L2 plus L3 cache. Okay. Then PCI Express support Gen 4 with backward compatibility with Gen 3. Okay. Then ang suggested retail price with uh, 12% VAT. Okay. Then on the right side naman, yung as position against the competitors current generation desktop uh, processor. So with the next slide naman, uh, tignan natin yung performance nung bagong Ryzen 9 3900X. This one we are positioning against the i9 9900K. So on 3900X, 12 cores with 24 threads. Whereas yung i9-9900K is 8 cores, 16 threads. So we basically offer more cores and more threads, okay, thereby offering faster gaming performance up to 9% faster in the case of uh, Counter-Strike uh, Go, CSGO, okay, at high setting, uh, 1440p resolution. Then in terms of uh, video editing naman or content creation using Adobe Premiere, up to 32% faster. Okay, in terms of power efficiency, since 7 nanometer na to, okay, uh, when running Cinebench R20 benchmark, okay, up to 58% more power efficient as measured on the wall compared to the i9. Okay, and rendering using yung uh, the Vin the Vinci Resolve na software. So video editing software din tong Da Vinci very popular among professionals up to 56% faster performance. So next naman, uh, compare natin yung Ryzen 7 at uh, i7. Okay? So on this slide we're, we're going to be comparing Ryzen 7 3800X versus the i7 9700K. Okay, in gaming, it's basically I would say neck to neck at two percent. Okay, but we're still faster, so may bragging like parin maski paano. Pero in terms of power efficiency, up to fifty-seven, uh, six percent more power efficient. Okay, in professional application with the Vinci Resolve video editing software, fifty-one percent faster. So ang thirty-eight hundred X is eight core with sixteen threads, while the i7 nine thousand seven hundred K is 8 core, 8 threads lamang. Okay, wala siyang hyper threading. Okay. So, we also have, ay, mali yung nakalagay dito. Actually, dapat, thir dito 37, mm -hmm. dapat 38 siya. 3800. Uh, uh -oh. It's being compared to a 3800X. Uh -oh, yes. Mm -hmm. With the 3700, uh, definitely you could expect uh, closer. Mm -hmm. Uh, performance, pero mas matulin pa rin siya in general compared to the 9700K. Okay? Then, in addition to that, gusto ko rin idagdag yung mga i i9, i7, lahat ng AMD Ryzen processor, may kasama ng cooler. May kasama ng cooler? Oo. Oh, oh. At yung cooler, yung heatsink na nakabundle together with our processor are designed exclusively for AMD by Cooler Master. Okay, for Ryzen 5, we have two models, the 3600X and the 3600. Okay, so basically, ang kinompare ko yung 3600 kasi ito yung bestseller natin right now. Okay, Mas, ito yung pinaka-most affordable na 7 nanometer right now. Ito yung pinaka-base model natin, the 3600X. Then moving forward, tignan naman natin yung mga Ryzen 3000 APU series. Okay, so we basically have two models. Ang Ryzen 5 3400G with Radeon, with integrated Radeon Vega 11 graphics. Okay. And the other model would be the Ryzen 3 3200G with Ra integrated Radeon Vega 8 graphics. Okay, next naman, tignan natin yung socket compatibility ng bagong Ryzen 3000 series. Okay na processor lamang at processors with integrated graphics. Okay? So basically, yung Ryzen 3000 APU, na, APU natin na dilawang model lamang, the 3400G and the 3200G are compatible with all 
chipset, 4D socket AM4. From the entry level, A320, B350, XD70, up to the latest X570, it will work out of the box. Uh, I, no, 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 no. Uh, for, well, for older socket AM4 motherboard with the older chipset, I upgrade nyo muna yung BIOS. Upgrade BIOS, oh, okay. Oh. Kasi Bago kundi walang in. nalabas, di ba? Oh, Magba-blackout mag yan. Magba-blackout siya. Okay. While for the 7 nanometer Ryzen 3000 CPU series, ito po yung Ryzen 5 3600 and above models, okay, compatible siya with, okay, officially with the first, this first four chipset. Okay, the B450, the X470, and the new X570. So, itong slide na to, comparing uh, 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 ang setup ay Ryzen 9 3900X processor together with an RX 5700 series graphics card. Okay, pag sinet natin sa PCR Express 3, ito lang po yung performance level. Yung, yung gray na block. Okay. Pero pagka in-enable natin yung PCI Express 4, okay, up to 69% faster for 4 months. So, maganda talaga kung mas maraming bandwidth, could double the bandwidth, mas walang latency, mas walang lag, and all that. At maximize talaga yung performance. Let's take a short break. Tapos mamaya, we will continue on the Radeon graphics naman. Itong tinatawag natin RDNA. Alright? So, kita-kits ulit after a few minutes.